All right, this is going to be how to grow the board game hobby running a game. Take three, two, one, two, one bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Michael Lee Murphy, and I'm here to give you just a little tip or trick on how to grow this amazing hobby of ours called board gaming. Yeah, I said it, folks. I'm going to be the unpopular opinion guy and say we need more board gamers. All right, maybe that's just an opinion most people have. Whatever. I'm trying to be like, you know, uh, incendiary on the internet. People love that, I hear. One thing that I think we can all agree on is that we need more board gamers. Gotta have it. The more board gamers we have, the more people we have designing board games, which means the more amazing board games we get. That's simple math, y'all. That's science. Neil deGrasse Tyson stamped on that right there. Bam, that's good science. So, how can we grow the board game hobby? What are some things that we can do as members of this amazing group of folks to help bring in new people. We've talked in the past about just being very visible, by being uh, not too pushy, things like that. One thing that I have found uh, is really helpful and I actually really enjoy is running games. Now what that means for me is I'm gonna set up other people to play a game. Maybe it's a four player game, I'll sit four people down and I'm just gonna sort of help referee and run the game take care of any little fiddly bits, make and change for people, whatever, simply so that I don't have anything to worry about other than answering questions, giving tips and advice if anyone asks, things like that. Now, uh, the first time I ever kind of just ran a game was at one of our very first game nights. We had a whole bunch of people over here at the house and uh, we decided to end the night by playing Wits and Wagers. This is a game that I would have been happy to play because I love trivia. I love gambling, things like that. It's just so fun to be able to like go all in on the one question you think you know and then win it all. Uh, so I love playing Wits and Wagers. But um, I was like, you know what? There's there's a lot of people who are kind of cramped in for space and uh, it'll be easier if, if, if I can just sort of like have all the money in one place, pass it all out, kind of treat it like a casino and be the person who reads the questions, the official question reader. Um, and so I decided to kind of sit out and we had... Uh, you know, a group of seven or eight other people playing around. So it was a nice full game. And I loved it. I thought it was so fun just to kind of like be the MC, which appeals to my, you know, actory, want to be in the spotlight nature anyway. Uh, so I loved that. The ego part of me loved it. Um, and uh, it was just a really good time. And I feel like everyone got to have a really full experience. And I was able to kind of just sit and like watch people enjoy a game which was really satisfying and fun and be able to participate it in just like a little little ways by making commentary like oh they're going all in on this you know they, they voted for their own answer guys they put a bunch of money in what do you think blah 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 trying to rile people up things like that and it was super duper fun um another time more recently that i got to help run a game was for dinosaur island so we had an opportunity to play um i was bringing our copy over to a game group and there was a bunch of people who had never played it before and it obviously was something that people were interested in. So I was kind of sitting down and, and I was going to be playing with these three other people and then kind of a few more people really wanted to play. And I said, you know what? I have this game. I own it. I'm lucky enough to be able to play it whenever I want. It's also kind of a complicated game. Let me sit back and like, let me just help run this, explain the game, help make sure everyone's going through the phases correctly, uh, especially because it's a game that there's going to be a lot of questions, stuff like that. And I sat back, same thing. I loved it. I thought it was so fun um, being able to like, I don't have a, I don't have a dog in this race. So I'm going to say like, ah, that over there is kind of cool. And oh, don't forget, you can buy things over here. And it just, I think it really made a game like that, which has a lot of moving parts and can seem very intimidating because there's just stuff everywhere at the start of the game. I think it made it smooth for everybody. And a couple weeks ago, I had a couple people... Uh, you know, some of which had played in that game and a couple others who just didn't have enough room to play in the game said like, dude, can, can you can you bring Dinosaur Island over? Like, we got to play it. We got to play it. I want you to play with us this time. Like, can we, can we play it? Can we play it? Can we play it? And I'm like, well, hey, mission accomplished. Had four people, none of which had played the game, all played the game, all liked it, all want to play it again. That's something that I would challenge you to do um, in, at your next game night or something. If there's a lot of people that are just jonesing to play this one game, if it's a game that you have and know really well, kind of like Nick was talking about, get really good at teaching a couple games, go one step further and run that game and just be the little kind of referee, help people with any little fiddly bits and passing things out and stuff like that, shuffling up cards so no one has to worry about anything other than like, just gonna think about my strategy here. 
and make a nice smooth gaming experience for everyone involved. What suggestions do you have? Put them down below. I want to know what you think we need as a community that we're all a part of to help grow this community. Let me know in the comments below what you think we need to do to help grow this board game hobby. That's going to be it for me, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.